getting the short-term forecast right. Joining us today to speak about that, Siva Lakshmanam, CEO of Antuit.ai, a zebra technologies company. Siva, it is great to see you here at the conference. Welcome. Thank you, Razam. So well, let's talk about how important it is to get that short-term forecast right and the tools that are necessary to make that happen. What would you say? Typically, supply chain has been very focused on what we call as the tactical horizon, which is three months to 12 months, because that is when you generally go about deciding how much you're going to make, how you are going to distribute the inventory. We call that process sales and operations planning, SNOP. That is a super important horizon, but the real decisions are between zero to 12 weeks, where you have already decided what you are going to make and you are responding to the customer demand. For far too long, we have left the shorter term horizon to the hands of planning community to make manual decisions. Hmm. And that worked reasonably well for a period of time, but given the latest disruptions around COVID, geopolitical situation, supply chain constraints, omni-channel, the consumer-driven variability, there is a need to get the short term right. Mm -hmm. And companies are increasingly seeing the fact that, hey, I need to respond better, I need to make better decisions in the short term. And that is where short term forecasting on the response to the demand comes to picture. And there are a variety of tools that are available. Generally, if, if you go back, why did we leave short-term forecasting to manual planning in the first place? We thought it's too chaotic mm. for technology to help. There is, there is always exceptions, right? Someone is calling you and then saying, I need this product. Someone is saying, I am short on inventory. Mm. So you left it to the humans to intervene. Mm. But technologies are getting better and better dealing with the chaos, mm. particularly AI. And cloud technology is very helpful in this space. And you increasingly see companies benefiting from leveraging this technology to get the short-term forecast right, to get the response to the demand right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've established then the importance of it and the tools that are required. But uh, let's kind of illustrate this if we might. Let's talk specifically about, about uh, retailers, about manufacturers, and give us some examples, if you can, of how they have benefited from AI-based uh, forecasting? What would you say? In the short term in particular, there are a variety of examples that we can talk uh, about. For example, let's take a DST um, manufacturer, a baker who is distributing the bread to every uh, shelf, every retail store in the US. And baked goods are very challenging to deal with. They have a very short lifespan, and if you don't sell it within that period of time, it goes to the landfill. At the same time, you need to make sure you have the on-shelf availability. So you are taking decisions on every morning, how much I'm going to put in each shelf across all my products. And that decision is extremely critical for driving revenue and margin for a baker. And in this example, they can leverage the short-term forecast to understand what is the store, SKU level demand, and how are these responding to promotion, back to school events, weather events that's impacting them, so on and so forth, and get that demand right, and then have the product on time. So you and I, when we walk into the store, we have the fresh tasting bread that's available to us. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a manufacturer who's responding to orders from the retailers. We have a variety of retailers throwing orders at the manufacturers who have to respond at a very short period of time. If not, there is OTIF penalties and other fill rate complications that are involved in that process. So the manufacturer has to decide, given the demand, the orders that are coming in, how am I going to optimally allocate my inventory? The order is here. I need to take a decision within minutes to say who gets inventory. Are you going to respond to the orders as you come? Are you going to hold some inventory for the future orders? Mostly, these decisions are left to people sitting at the warehouse, and whoever makes the most noise gets the inventory. Mm. But technology can really be helpful here. Technology can help you optimally assign inventory to the orders based on what is your fill rate commitment to the retailer, right? How are you tracking with your margin? What's the market share goal that you have? So technology can be very handy there. So but let's, uh, I want to sum up then for the viewer, the benefits that you are going to derive 
if you are able to execute against a, a, a more accurate short-term forecast. So give us a kind of a laundry list, if you will, of those benefits that are going to flow. What would you say? Most importantly, on-shelf availability. If you're a manufacturer or retailer, you wake up and worry about having the products on the shelf. And that's very important. In, in this hyper-competitive environment, when you and I walk into a retail store, we look for a product. If it's not there, we are going to order online right there. Right? You don't want that kind of experience. You want people, customers walking in to have a better experience. So having right product on the shelf at right price is the most important, uh, most important goal. And also, you need to make the planning a bit more seamless and systematic. Today, in, in the labor-constrained world, you have churn happening with employees. So you don't have the luxury of someone who's been doing this for 15 years anymore. You have you know, people at the job who's been there only for three months making critical decisions. So there is a need to systematize this and then rely on an intelligence that can augment human intelligence. Besides that, financially, you have better inventory positions. You, as a result, you end up with better margin. Since you have better fill rate and on-shelf availability, you get better revenue outcome. Simple final question. For the benefit of someone that uh, they may very well know about Zebra Technologies and what it is that they've been doing for a number of years, now they're learning that Antuit.ai is a Zebra company, but they're not entirely familiar with what you are all about. So give us a little uh, look at the focus of uh, Antuit and uh, just what it's doing to to uh, optimize the operations of your client base. What would you say? Sure. Antuit is a AI software as a service company that is predominantly focused on retail and consumer products industries. We leverage AI software to help our customers make better inventory decisions. We help them on how much to buy, how much to make, where to put the inventory, what price to sell. So a great, great information, very important and timely stuff as well. Thank you so much for finding the time to speak with us today. Thank you. You're welcome, Russell. That's Silva Lakshmanan. And to it AI, a zebra technologies company, it's speaking with us today about short-term forecasting. Thank you so much for watching.